Gluten Tag guys, today we'll talk about training splits. My name is Alex and I'm the bull. The training splits we're going to discuss today are a full body split, a upper lower split, a push pull split, a push pull leg split and a bro split. But before we get into the different splits, what is a training split in general? A training split is basically just a way of managing your workout volume and your workout frequency. And depending on what you enjoy and how much time you have, you can choose a fitting split. Many trainings programs also have more than one day per category. So even if you're training full body, it's not the same day all the time. And if you're doing push pull legs, for example, you can have two push, two pull and two leg days. If you're not sure what to pick, you can also mix them. So for example, you can do an upper lower push pull leg split. Let's start with the full body split. The full body split is best suited for beginners or for people that don't want to go to the gym more often than two or three times a week. There are also high frequency, more advanced versions of the full body split where you train five or six times a week. But these are more for advanced people and here you have to consider quite a lot in order to not run into recovery issues. Next up, the upper lower split. Here you just split your training into one day where you train the upper body and another day where you train the lower body. This split is best used if you go to the gym around four times a week. This way you will train every muscle group twice a week. The advantage over the full body training you have here is that you can focus a little bit more on certain muscle groups in one day. The push-pull split is quite similar to the upper-lower split. Here, instead of categorizing the lifts into an upper body or a lower body lift, we categorize the lift into a push or a pull. Don't think that we're not training the legs here with the push-pull split. We also train legs, we just categorize the leg movements also into a push and a pull. For example, a squat would be a push and a deadlift would be a pull. Just like the upper lower split, this is also great to use if you go to the gym around four times a week. And this way you will hit every muscle group twice a week. And in the push pull leg split, we just take the leg movements out of the push and the pull day and put them onto a separate day. For some movements like the deadlift, it can be a little bit of a discussion on whether to put them on the leg day or for example, the pull day. Because a deadlift is just a full body exercise. In my opinion, it's more of a leg movement than a back movement, but you can certainly also put it on the pull day. If you want to go with the push pull leg split, you should train at least five to six times a week in order to hit every muscle group twice. So you have to go to the gym quite often, but in each session, you can really focus on a few muscle groups. And lastly, the bro split. Here, you just train one or maybe two muscle groups a day. Most programs using a bro split roughly have five different days. So you have to go to the gym five times a week in order to just hit the muscle group once. But in each session, you have really time to hammer just one or two muscle groups. The bro split is a little more old school and not taken so seriously these days because training a body part one times a week is just not the optimal frequency. If you like the bro split though, there's absolutely nothing wrong with doing it. Also for some body parts, the frequency is actually higher than you would assume. Because for example, if you're training your chest on one day, chances are you'll also include a little bit of triceps. And if you're doing squats for your quads, you will also be training your glutes to a certain extent. That was just a quick overview of the main training splits. We'll go into more detail in future videos. That was everything for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please leave me a like, subscribe. Also, write some comments. It helps the algorithm. You're also very welcome to leave me some criticism down in the comments. This was Fahad. Thanks for watching.